welcome to another video. In this one, we are talking blend modes. So before we get started, I like to always make sure your screen looks like my screen by going up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. It'll set everything back to uh, default. So blend modes, uh, first of all, what are they? Well, it's an effect essentially where you can blend things together. So a top layer would blend with a lower layer or if layers intersect with each other, you'll see, uh, you'll get different effects depending, depending on which blend mode you pick. So let's just get started so you, so we can, so we can just get started. Uh, okay, so blend modes, where are they? So in your layers panel on the right hand side, if you select any uh, layer, I don't have anything actually, all my layers are turned off right now, but if you can see when I click on these layers, there's opacity and to the right of it, it says normal with a drop down. If you click on that, you're going to get a list of all these different blend modes. So let's just uh, do something to get started. So I'm going to turn on this background, this brick wall. Now, if I have this brick wall selected, and again, nothing else is um, highlighted right now, so nothing's there's nothing else here showing but this brick wall. If I pick the brick wall and I start changing blend modes, you're not going to see anything because there's nothing for it to blend with. So that's the first thing to know. If you just have a single layer and you're trying to apply an effect to it, you're really not going to see much. So let's do this. I'm going to first draw a couple circles and I'm going to show you how they how they work or how they're different. So I'm just going to hold shift so I can make a perfect circle. I'm going to drag out a circle and I'm going to make a couple of these so you can see. Now um, what I'm doing on my Mac so I can duplicate these is I'm just holding uh, command click and dragging, you can hit uh, control on a PC, click, drag to duplicate. You could also highlight a layer. So say I wanna um, highlight and I'm gonna click uh, on my keyboard, command J to duplicate it. On a PC, you'll hit control J. I'm gonna drag this over here. And again, I'm just holding command, click, dragging on my Mac and on a PC, it'll be control. Um, okay, so now we have five circles, they're all the same size, they're all in front of this brick wall. So I'm gonna click on this first one, and I'm just gonna change the blend mode to darken. So you can see how that looks. I'm gonna change the next one to multiply. I'm gonna change the next one to, uh, let's go to screen. Uh, next one, I'm gonna click, uh, let's do, I don't know, um, a random one here, hard mix, sure. And I'm just gonna pick, uh, let's do whatever, saturation. So th there's a ton of them as you can see in the right hand side, I've just picked a few random ones just to show you essentially um, what, how it'll have an effect. So, so this circle on top is blending in to the one below and it's whatever effect you're choosing is, is what it's doing. And what I meant by intersecting, so it's pulling from the bottom layer right now. If I intersect these layers, you'll see that they have a, an effect on each other as well. So um, different blend modes will have different effects and if you intersect between them, that'll have an effect as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's use a real example here. I'm gonna delete all these circles. Now I'm gonna turn on this leaf here this leaf example and see I have a, a blend mode already selected so I'm going to show you what I did here. So we're going to make this leaf looks like look make it look like it's painted on this wall. It's super simple with blend modes. So I'm going to go to my blend modes up in the top right here with my leaf selected and I'm just going to go through them. So this would be darken, this would be multiply, this would be color burn, linear. So as you go through you'll just see how they look. You know, how they they have different effects, right? These look kind of real. I'm just going to pick um, I think color burn for this one. So that's all I've done. I have a brick wall. I put a just a transparent, um, well, it's, it's not transparent, but it's a PNG file. So it's just a leaf. There's no background on it. And I changed the blend mode to color burn. And this is what it looks like. So it looks like now it's on the wall. You could take it obviously a step further. There's more effects where you could add like a displacement and you could use some of the blend ranges to really make it look like it's more so on the wall and maybe more like spray paint. That's for another day, another video, but let's drag this over here and I'm just gonna add some text and match it. So I'm gonna write uh, design, right? So I got design. So it's I have this color set by default over here, not by default, but that's what's selected. I'm gonna use my color picker tool to grab this exact red. If you don't know how to use the color picker tool, um, I'll link the video down below. Um, so I'm gonna click on my color picker tool, drag, I'm gonna select the red. It's now loaded in my color picker tool. I got my text up, uh, set up here, so I'm gonna apply it to my text. So now I have red, perfect. So to make it match this, I'm just gonna change my um, my blend mode. And I think we were on color burn. Yeah, color burn. So now you can see that this text, make this smaller maybe. Now they both kind of look like they're written on the wall here. Not the best design you've ever seen, but uh, here, let's do this. Let's make this smaller and do this or something, or something. 
I'm just doing this on the fly, guys. I don't really plan these out because I'm trying to just get some content out for you guys. All right, cool, whatever. So that's uh, one example of how blend modes work. Let's do another one here. So let's turn these off. Uh, and I'm going to turn on this, uh, turn that off. I'm going to turn on this wood background. So again, I have a background here. I'm going to turn this car over top of it. And this car, again, is just a, it's a transparent PNG. So there's no background on it. It's already been isolated. So there's nothing I have to cut out. It's already, it's already done for me. And again, so blend rages, I'm going to have my car selected. Um, uh, the wood is underneath it. So it's going to blend in with the one underneath it. And I'm just going to pick different modes to see which one I like. Some cool ones. I kind of like lighter color. Oh no, I like overlay. Um, and as always, I'm going to cough because that's just what I do apparently. <coughs> I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to pick over... Mm, I don't know, it's a hard one. I'm going to pick overlay for this one. Now, overlay, uh, screen, overlay, these are really popular ones you'll see with effects. If you buy it, separate effects and you go to lay them over top of pictures and things, overlay and screen are, are really big ones. But it all depends on what you're working with. If this was, say this was good and it wasn't maybe as bold as I wanted, but I like the effect, I could always hit Command J or I could go uh, edit, copy, edit, paste. And it would give me two of them on top of each other. And maybe I could take the one on top and say, okay, well, it's a bit too strong now. So I'm just going to go to my opacity here. I'm going to turn the top one down a little bit. So this would be just one. And if I turn up the second one, it's going to get a little bit more bolder, but maybe I don't want it this bold. So I'm going to pull it down to maybe, let's say 50%. So that is the basic idea of blend modes. You are basically, your top layer is blending with your lower layer or anything it's intersecting with, and you can kind of create cool different effects with it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you just if you could hit like, that would be awesome. Um, uh, my subscribers are growing. I don't have a big channel at all, but this is great. I'm, 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 really, I'm really happy people are enjoying it. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments. Thanks.